Right, this is a, a, qu a quick, easy a lecture on a topic which is in the Matrices and Forms course. It's on sesquilinear and bilinear forms. And it shouldn't be very long. Right, uh, there's just four different definitions we should know. Uh, a map is sesquilinear. If you can, if you use this function here, so we have a, a map f of x and it will take us to some function. And if we can do lambda x plus is that mu y of and then z if this is equal to the complex conjugate well it's got the line over the top of f of x and z plus mu of com complex conjugate f of y z then that's sesquilinear if we don't have the complex conjugate then we call it bilinear right uh, the Hermitum sesquilinear uh, they've got another lecture on Hermitum matrices. This is quite similar, really. Is when you can have the function, the fun, uh, the map f of x, and it's equal to the complex conjugate of f of y x. And again, if it isn't complex conjugate, then we call it bilinear. So we've got two examples. We want to find out what this is. So, sorry, the lines are a bit high, aren't they? Uh, f of x y is our map where it takes the complex conjugate of x1 times y2 plus complex conjugate of x2 times y1. Now first thing we'll try, we'll try to see if it is either symmetric bilinear or a Hermitian sesquilinear. So we'll do the f of yx and that gives us this here which is the y1 complex conjugate times x2 plus the y2 complex conjugate times x1 and this is actually here which is the complex conjugate of x of x and y so this one is Hermitian sesquilinear we, we can also try and see what happens when we do this as well which is lambda x plus mu y and z uh, we put this in where, where the x was so it goes here and it's complex conjugate put it here as well, complex conjugate, because we've got the z2 and z1. If we then uh, divide this up where the pluses are, get lambda x1, z2, plus lambda x2, z1, plus mu y1, uh, z2, from here, plus mu y2, z1, from here. And these are the complex conjugates. Then we can actually divide this up and look at it like this, such that it's the lambda uh, complex conjugate of lambda times the f of x z plus the conjugate conjugate of mu times f of y z, and that means it is also. If we look back at our definitions, it is also it's sesquilinear. So it was we knew it was Hermitian sesquilinear. So we already knew this was true, but we just proved that as well. Our final example. Again, it's not a very long video. We've got f of x y is x transposed times ay and in this case x a and y are all matrices because that will the transpose so we'll do we'll try to see if it's either sesquilinear or bilinear first so we'll do the f of yz and this gives us y transposed ax and this is actually this is nothing is it this doesn't compare to this in any way other than that is what that is so it's neither. The next one we'll try, we'll try the, the lambda plus, uh, x plus mu y thing with the z. So put this in here, and then you can actually try it with a matrix. You should know this, that if you add them, it's just the same as doing lambda x transpose plus lambda uh, mu y transposed times az, which we've done here. And as we separated it, we can actually see that we've got lambda f of x y, f of x z, sorry, plus mu y of f of yz so we can say that it is actually bilinear